blood like You're going to rip your shoulders out of the socket. I'm a mean mother. It's time to get green and mean to the Hulk. Hulk. Warm is better than having more weight. I want to be a freak. I understand that, but don't rip your shoulders out of the sockets. Who cares? We're in, we don't care about injuries. We're freaks. <laughs> we don't care about injuries. We're freaking freaks. Keep oh, working wait, out. baby. What? Keep working out. Let's go. Work out. Sick quit talking. It's oh, sick. My God. Really? Jennifer, I think you should speak to the owners of the gym and switch shifts. You should start working like the afternoons and nights, I think. I'm just not in the mood. You're not in the mood today? Not at all. You know what that means, right? That means I'm gonna bring J Jason over here whenever possible <laughs> and film it. Not gonna be nice. That's no. the idea. Nice. That's the idea. <laughs> <laughs> It's, we don't care about injuries. We're freaking freaks. Let me go film someone who's actually working out. <laughs> exactly. exactly. Got Liz over here doing crunches. It's sick. Ah, there they are. You want me to be on me? Are you trying to hide from me? No. Yes, you are. I can't hide from you. You are hiding. What? What are you doing this morning? Uh, uh. Back in biceps? Liz, I owe you an apology. I know, I saw. What? You told me how to breathe wrong. What happened? You saw that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, you could have gotten hurt, Andrew. I'm we sorry, don't Liz. Care about injuries. We're freaks. Well, I think I think <laughs> she does care about injuries. I care about injuries. Um, <laughs> the last time care. when I filmed Liz squatting, I gave her what I thought was a good piece of advice. But I thought it was good advice too, because I, I thought that that's how you were supposed to. I do always it. thought I you're supposed to exhale on the exertion. Right. That's, that's what I thought. And but it, it's a little scary to like hold my breath the whole time. I pass out. I mean, Who I'm cares? sure I won't. So do it. But <laughs> We're freaks. Are you gonna catch me, Jason? If yeah, I'm gonna out, catch you. Catch well, me. I'll catch He'll you. Probably like throw me on the floor. If, <laughs> if holding your breath <laughs> doesn't <laughs> pass out, the smell of his body odor will. My odor eater does yeah. doesn't yeah. cause you, you to pass out. Okay. But yeah, so apparently I gave you some uh, not very good advice by telling you to breathe. Right. So. The YouTube commenters have corrected me, and much respect to them, because yes, I'm not a power lifter. Education. I never have been. So you're not thank a power lifter. I'm a freak. <laughs> Go do a set, Jason. Play-Dohs. I, I don't know what. Did you drink coffee? Coffee? What he's on. What? Did you drink a lot of coffee? Too? I drank four Red Bulls. I'm just oh, joking. Oh, that's it? Just four? Oh, that's no problem. No problem. It's sick. It's yeah, sick. It's sick. It's sick. You make you hide like a freaking weed kite. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Liz, I'll be giving you no more breathing advice. Just breathe whenever okay. you want, basically, from now on. Andrew. Yeah, I will shut up now. Although, that would be, that would be interesting. Now, JT is deadlifting over here, and he gets on the ball. And I'm like, JT, you're not about to fucking deadlift on the ball. I would have just left the gym. I'm the gym circus no, I know you're you're like the uh, the World Gym Circus Act here, but that that just would have been some over the top shit right there. What happened, oh. Sean? You like those things, right? I want them back. That's it. Give them back. <laughs> All right. Actually, you can keep them then. <laughs> They're yours, man. This asshole spot. Me, fucking drive. Now we we have a little shit talking session here, going Caesar. on between Brad and Jason. Jason has Caesar. Jason has challenged Brad to bench 275. He's not spotting me either. Caesar. Caesar. This fucking headset. Now, Jason just got 275 once. Oh, come on, 
Wah, wah, wah. Sorry, Jason. Four clean. Now you can eat my balls. <laughs> open up, Jason. Get on your knees and open your mouth. Damn, Brad. You're missing some good shit talking this morning in here, oh, JT. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Who's doing the shit talking, Brad? Actually, they both are. Jason is stepping up to the plate this morning. I'm proud of him. <laughs> There's only one problem. Well, Jason Jason's, Jason's shit talking. Well, that too. Yeah, and he does gay porn, right? Yeah, he does gay porn. Well, Jason's shit talking just backfired because Jason got 275 once. Brad said, come on, fatso. And Jason said, let's see you do it once. So Brad said, okay, and he just, he just did it four times clean. Where's what's 275? This right here, plus 20, uh, 25 on. Okay. Uh, Jason, would you like to issue any more challenges this morning, perhaps? It's from whipping all that mail. I'm up, for, I'm up for a challenge. That sickening mailman strength? Yeah, I got mailman strength. <laughs> <laughs> <Still. Yeah. laughs> Yeah. It's not virgin therapy, it's inversion so, therapy. So Andrew, Andrew's been asking me for a few weeks, he knows I've had, I've had lower back surgery due to very uh, difficult leg workouts over the years. I've had a neck surgery because of a motorcycle accident. Um, everyone that has problems with their neck or back, 100%, you know, 99% of it, it's in the lower back. The L, L1, 2, 3, 4, 5 region, where the back curves, the lower back. If it's in the neck, it's in the C, you know, four, five, six area of the neck. It's because of compression. We walk around, we get in and out of cars, we sit at a desk all day, we... Anytime you're not laying in bed, there's compression on those discs, the, the uh, space between the vertebrae. So what he's doing here is actually a very smart exercise. Nobody does it, it's a very intense therapy, but if you don't have an inversion table, the thing you lay on and, and flips you upside down. That's what you use, correct? What I, what I used to, after my surgeries, then this is the this is actually much more intense than that. It's very difficult to do. Um, and what it does is it actually decompresses the whole lumbar region of your back. So if you have any herniated issues, nothing too serious, but your typical herniated issues with your disc, any compression of the lower back, even with the neck. Right now, his head is pulling. His head is pulling the opposite direction it normally goes. The average human head weighs about seven to eight pounds, so it's not pulling the opposite way. And it decompresses the disc in between those vertebrae. And what it does is it allows all the fluid to get back in the disc in between the vertebra, bathe it, bring in nutrients, and literally within two to three weeks of doing this, a few times a week, you can alleviate any pain. Unless it's a serious, serious injury where they have to go in and do surgery. So the inversion tables, everyone, you, you can Google them, anybody that has a lower back problem. You can Google inversion therapy. It's a table you lay on. It flips your body from an upright position to a upside down position. It pulls on the ankles like you saw him here. His ankles are being pulled on. And it opens up, it decompresses the lower back and it allows all of the tissue and the disc and the fluid to get back in where they belong and it gives you that cushion when you're out of pain. So that, that's, that's inversion therapy. Before you have surgery, look it up. Uh, most doctors won't talk about it, but it's highly, highly effective. And I've had- right. Doctors won't make money when they you won't do make inversion any therapy. That, yeah. they, they wanna cut you but open. Whether it's a neck, neck stiffness or anything with the lower back, heavy, heavy leg training, and you have tightness down there, you have radiating pain down your leg, anything wrapping around your leg, lower back throbbing, look into inversion therapy, and 100% uh, you're gonna feel better. Good stuff, thank you, Sean. Yeah. Rock that clear. Oh my god. <laughs> this is what we've got for all day long. Jeez. We've got a little time on our hands. Just wait for it, Brad. You'll see. Where's he at? Is he here today? He was supposed to be here at 6 a.m., but. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I found that one. Better. That's just disturbing. <laughs> this song is actually pretty good. The singing is great, and so Do, is he. Wait, it says doing Pritchard. That's the most, that that's, must be something Jason wrote. 
Yeah. That was an old status update. But what? the part I want Brad to see is come here, watch this, Brad. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, watch. Just this watch. is fantastic. <laughs> 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 they just keep showing it over and over. <laughs> That's pretty sick. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> JT and Koth Jr. There you go. Come on, get up high. There you go. There you go. That's it, yeah. Get them up, come on. Oh, all right. Good set, bro. Pretty soon. It's your second time doing this. It's the second time doing this. Good stuff. There's Jason walking around, biting his shirt. Got where, to call him over here. Where, where did the love of his life go? She on asked him about his homosexual experience. I don't ask him those questions. I let. Uh, I will. <laughs> I don't. Uh, not my cup of tea. Jason. So. I didn't know you did Jason more. It's a joke. A joke? Didn't seem like a joke. It was a joke. I don't know, buddy. <laughs> That's some elevation right there. Holy shit! Jason, can you do this? No. Give it a shot. No. Hell no. Hell no. Holy shit! <laughs> Man. Koth Jr. is now Protégé Jr. <laughs> <laughs> Learning from Koth JT. It's like a sickening... Uh, He's teaching me how to lift. I'm teaching him how to... Alright, that's cool. It's like Koth reversal, kind of. Mailman, the post. Post boy. I'm deliver my foot in your <laughs> fucking asshole, you little prick. Hey, post boy, how you doing, post boy? Your shoes look I like. See, I see you learned how to tie your shoes. Your yeah, shoes. I just pointed that out my on shoes. his camera. I don't hey, know what that is. My shoes look like the Goodyear blimp. It's loaded it's like on the, Steve, on, Stevie Wonder tied your the, shoes or on something. On the Hindenburg. <laughs> the Hindenburg <laughs> exploded. <laughs> it looks terrible. It looks like the Hindenburg. <laughs> I'm high as a kite. Oh my God. I think you've said that already about 200 times this morning, bad. Jason. I look bad this morning. He said that about 200 times. I'm high as a kite. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, it's almost scary. I feel like the, Hind a good I feel like the Hindenburg. <laughs> Hindenburg exploded, yes. So you're lifting a lot of weight today. Yeah, so I'm lifting nothing. <laughs> that's, a, that's a gif right there. Bam, we just got our next gif of you doing that with no weight on the bar. Yeah. I love it. Where did you get that fucking hideous shirt? It was from England. Some fan from England gave it to me. You know what the best part is, Brad? Look, his part. stomach's getting so big <laughs> that it's, it's pushing off all the letters. <laughs> Wait a second. Before, it's, the N came off, and then 30 minutes later, the A comes off. Hold on the a second. The blimp. Bye-bye, A. <laughs> the Hindenburg exploded. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm trying to look like a power lifter, Michelin man. Right. Michelin man. <laughs> Michelin man's about to explode. <laughs> the good here blimp. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> did, you get, did you get laid or something? I got high as a kite last night. Oh my god. I don't know, but I want some. <laughs> what's your what's your new pre-workout, man? I want some of this. Some meth. What? Some meth. Opium. Opium. It makes you feel good <laughs> because I smell bad. <laughs> like, Your like face is red. You're drooling. <laughs> well, uh, like I feel great. <laughs> I feel so good, man. Where's your, where's your girlfriend? She left. She'll be back on the 26th. That's why you're all giddy and giggly. Because you got rid of her. <laughs> Look at him. He's laughing. He got it. Telling him what to do, right? Helium man. He got his, he got his crib back I'm to himself. Please go, go away. I'm full of, I'm full of helium and I stink. Oh my God. <laughs> Can I come close? <laughs> Jason, why don't you straddle him while he does the sit? <laughs> he looks like he, he looks like he's 
looks like he pissed his pants. Can Jason straddle you while you do your set? Huh? <clears throat> I'll kill you and him. <laughs> Look at JT. JT is not JT is not amused. Everybody's thoroughly annoyed with you this morning. <laughs> I gotta be Why don't you work of... out for once, you fucking pussy? <laughs> All right. You wanna be a bodybuilder, a power lifter, you don't even lift any weight. Now he's walking away, see? Oh, whoa, you don't wanna joke anymore, huh? He's been doing some lifting. Okay. Here and there. What did he take to this? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I'd rather him be like this and be in one of his sullen, yeah, depressed moods, so yeah, it's the good. The other day, he was very cunty. Yeah, I'm glad he's happy. So, Jason, if I go on YouTube and flag every one of your videos, does that mean you'll get kicked off again? Yeah. Alright, good. So I'm gonna do. What? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, my name is gonna be the monkey prick. <laughs> and I'm gonna, I'm gonna flag all your shit. Ah! And see you later. Look at cunt. Look, I just found him. This is Jason's first selfie. Oh my god. Look, little Jason's first selfie. <laughs> what is that? It's a fucking. Where'd you penis. see that? It's on, uh. That's kind of Jason's sick. other page, Monkey Prick Genoi Crescent Oak. <laughs> He's laughing about being Monkey Prick today. So. I'm that's killing good. him with kindness. <laughs> <laughs> kindness. Who's I... that? Do you even lift, bro? I don't care. Who cares? This is fun. The monkey prick assassin. Monkey, monkey pricks you can, uh, monkey pricks are just give me fuel. They're just a bunch of comp comedians. <laughs> comp comedians. Who cares about monkey pricks? What's monkey a comp comedian? They're a comic, the comic comedians. Monkey comic prick. comedians. <laughs> comic comedians. Okay. I never learned that one in school. Laugh. We this is why this is why you don't mix mix drugs, right? What did you take? What did you take this opium. morning? Opium. Opium. You don't even know what opium is. Yeah, I do. Yeah, okay. We don't care about monkey pricks. We're did freaks. You, you must have got into your old medicine cabinet, Jesus, huh? You smell so bad. <laughs> you do. You break. <laughs> you work at Publix. They sell soap and shampoo and shit there, James. They sell. <clears throat> do they send you home when you walk in and you smell like that? Yeah. How many? They have sent you home, haven't they? Yeah. I bet you see. Whoa! The lights go out. <laughs> <laughs> well, now Jason. I cursed the gym with my last. And now you can't blame the lighting for not looking ripped. <laughs> Stupid fucking lighting. What, what yeah. position? Huh? What position? Clerks, carriers, janitors. I can do something. You could be a janitor. Could you imagine Jason working at the post office like? You know the janitors make fifty grand a year, Jason. Really? Yeah. I bet you that's better than Publix. <laughs> Everyone hiring. Everyone's See, male. Male. He wants to. He wants to make fun of me for being a mailman, but I tell him they're hiring. Oh, really? Where? Who? What? What are they hiring for? <laughs> the number of people who actually go vocal in a ramp up. Yeah, I can get like away with chasing his hired there. <laughs> Dancing with a broom. What? Dancing with a mop. <laughs> Everyone's mail ends up like in Mexico or some shit. No, it's called when Jason's out there, it's Meet Your Neighbor Day. He delivers everybody's mail to the, the opposite house. <laughs> um, everyone have a good week, good weekend, whenever the hell this gets posted. <laughs> and uh, you always gotta film me doing the fucking. I do. I always gotta film you doing the the, uh, the old man the girly equipment. Right. That's okay. You Brad, you bench. I film you bench 274, 275 four times. So I, I'll, I'll film your good, your bad, and your ugly. I don't care. Buddy. See, J, even JT's using the sissy machine right behind you. Teaser <laughs> <laughs> machine. Isn't this for 40 and over? Well, that's you and me, brother. Yeah. What's up? Fat fucking Lenny. Yes. It should be black fucking Lenny. <laughs> He's so dark now. I he is dark. Riding down military trail the other day, I thought it was flat. Looks like a bear on a bike at the circus. That's what it looks like when he rides that bicycle down military trail. Anyway, everyone. Okay, this time I mean it. We're out of here, everyone. Brad, be good. JT, check you Monday. See you Monday. Later, bro. We are out of here.